quantum Geiger counters are very good, but they're also very fragile. And the left sensor tends to become disabled if you drop it or if it has an impact. But they're very good in, uh, in exchanging as a warranty and they uphold the, the warranty. So through impact the left sensor becomes disabled and you're left with only one. Like many Geiger counters, only have one instead of two. And the trick is that you just multiply it by two and you get the average. So in this case it'd be 14, in this case it'd be 12. So on New Year's Day, I, while recharging, the one I received, the replacement I received, fell off a car seat onto a laptop, an impact, and the left sensor became disabled, like the previous one. So these will be sent back for warranty replacement. But in the meantime, I'm still using them for readings. I was just, uh, this morning I was at Carrefour Laval at the parking. And I was being assaulted there too. The readings were 8, 9 in some cases, which is the equivalent of 16 to 18, instead of 5 and 6, which are 